Hi everybody, I hope you're well. Uh, today I will read from a book titled Denise Scott Brown in Other Eyes, uh, Portraits of an Architect, uh, edited by Frida Gran and published by Birchhäuser. This collection of essays published on the 15th anniversary of learning from Las Vegas celebrates the life and career of Denise Scott Brown. Although the seminal Las Vegas treatise was heavily in debt to Scott Brown's work and ideas, she has so far only sparingly been subject to scholarly attention. In my conversations with Scott Brown, conducted as a part of my PhD research, she has often struck me with amazement. Doors kept opening to unexpected fields, and I realized how little is commonly known about her. Notwithstanding her great skill as a writer and communicator, keys for entering her intellectual universe have been missing, and few commentators have gone beyond the instant allure of the well-known catchphrases. So, I was thrilled when Elizabeth Broom spoke to me about her idea of publishing an anthology of Scott Brown in the Bauwelt Fundamente series, and I immediately started working on planning the book and sending out invitations to write essays for it. Many contemporary scholars and architects clearly felt a desire to reflect further on Scott Brown's life and work, and their positive responses soon began filling my inbox. Scott Brown is known for celebrating the vitality of the contemporary city, its richness, layers and contrasts. Her genius lies in her ability to channel transdisciplinary knowledge into new syntheses, combining innovative thinking with an infectious passion and enthusiasm for countless subjects that has enriched architecture's set of techniques. She is a mediator among professions, cultures and continents, making a mark on cultural discourse as few others have done, going beyond the fields of architecture and urbanism. But her contributions have long remained unrecognized or wrongly attributed, as described in her essay Room at the Top, Sexism and the Star System in Architecture, 1989. She was one of the first to speak out against sexism and misogyny in architecture, and the photo of her in front of the Las Vegas Strip in 1966, radiating joy, strength and confidence, has become a symbol for empowerment and an inspiration for women who share her struggle. This anthology is more than an homage, it aims to open up new perspectives on Scott Brown and her thinking in ways that reflect her holistic approach and the broad range of her professional identities, which encompass architect, planner, urbanist, theorist, writer and educator. The term architect in the subtitle Portraits of an Architect is meant to imply all dimensions and scales of design, from regional planning to architectural detailing. The plural form portraits indicate a multitude of views. Similarly, the phrase in other eyes conveys the author's various approaches to the different phases of Scott Brown's biography. As an initial attempt to portray Scott Brown, this volume is also an invitation to further research and debate. The book consists of 23 chapters, including new essays by international scholars interspersed with more personal reflections by architects who are friends or colleagues of Scott Brown, which together bridge the divisions among history, theory and practice. The longer essays are based on extensive studies of unpublished archival material, primarily in the Venturi Scott Brown collection at the Architectural Archives, University of Pennsylvania. They build on and critically assess Scott Brown's rich production of writings over six decades, in books such as Urban Concepts, 1990 and Having Words, 2009, as well as with Venturi, A View from the Campidoglio, 1984, and Architecture of Science and Systems for a Manner's Time, 2004. The contributors and I have also had the honor of receiving Scott Brown's invaluable help and guidance while disentangling archival findings and reconstructing the details of certain historical events. Editing this book, compiling these stories and looking at Scott Brown through the eyes of others has been a privilege and a delight.
ask for the book at your local bookstore. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.